Hello, in this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to set up and create a storage volume. This is the next logical step after you have installed and configured your Gluster Storage cluster. For the purposes of this demo, I'll show you how to create a distributed volume using two servers, and I'll export the volume as ClusterFS native, NFS, and SIFS to let clients mount the volume. First, navigate to the Volume Manager tab. To create a volume, click on the Create Volume button. The following screen will then appear. First, enter the name of the volume you want to create. Next, select a volume type. None, which is selected by default, means your files will be distributed across all storage nodes. Mirror means all of your files are replicated twice. You'll need at least two servers to activate this feature. Stripe means file blocks are spread across all storage nodes. You'll need at least four servers to activate this feature. Then select which storage servers and disks you want included in the volume. Finally, select which export protocols the clients can use to connect to this volume. If you select the SIFS protocol, also specify a username and password that you can use from your Windows clients to connect to this volume. Then click Create Volume. Next, click on Start Volume. That will start the volume you just created, making it ready for mounting by clients using the protocol specified earlier. From this screen, you can start, stop, create, or delete a volume. Now we can move on to mounting the volumes. First, we'll mount as ClusterFS native, so log in as root user. Then open a terminal window. Insert the ClusterFS native client mount command you see here. The volume is now mounted as ClusterFS native, and you can see there are 26 terabytes available for use in my volume. To mount as NFS, open a terminal window. As a root user, insert the NFS client mount command you see here. The volume is now mounted as NFS and you can see the volume properties here. Finally, to mount as SIFS from your Windows client machine, open Computer, then right-click on Network, and select Map Network Drive. From this screen, click Browse and select the storage node IP address to connect to. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your username and password specified during volume creation. Then you'll see the exported volume. Click Finish to complete the process, and the volume is now mounted as SIFS. To view the properties of this volume, just right-click on it and select Properties. Here you can see I have about 26 terabytes of free space in the volume. Now that I have shown you how to create a volume and mount as ClusterFS native, NFS, and SIFS, you can start creating volumes of your own. Simply start by downloading Gluster Storage Platform from our website. 